Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to fix the throttle drop problem. Let's get started. Have you ever gotten the problem where you push the throttle forward and then you start seeing you're getting a little slower, a little slower. You take a look at the tack and what you're noticing is that it's starting to drop a little bit, sometimes by 100, sometimes by 200. The reason why that that is happening is that the throttle levers are a little loose. There are two ways to fix this. There are actually tension screws on the back of this housing here, which I'll show you in a minute, or we can fix the problem that's going on on the inside. Grab a flathead screwdriver and pop the cover off from the side. Here are your adjustment screws on the ends. To loosen it, you're going to turn it counterclockwise, and to tighten it, you're going to turn it clockwise. As you're doing this, move the throttle levers forward and back, and you'll find that sweet spot that you really like. But for now, we're going to remove the cover, and we need to take off these two screws. Once the cover is off, take out these screws, and you'll be able to pull out the entire assembly. Before taking it out, push these two buttons on the side and pull the levers backwards. By doing this, you'll disengage the bucket cables from the levers. Now that they're back and out of the way, you'll be able to pull straight up on this thing and pull it out to the side. Now that we've pulled it out, we have to take out three more screws to separate the sides. There's one on this side and there are two more on the other side. There's one screw here in the same position as the other side. And towards the bottom, there's another screw that has a nut attached to it. Put your hand on the bottom to catch it as you unscrew it. Now that they're separated, flip her to the side and open her up, revealing more screws. Lucky for us, there's only two screws back here to remove this plate. So what's happening here is that when you move the lever back and forth, this piece wiggles in between here. Not exactly sure why there's a space there or if it was just the way that it was manufactured, but one of the best ways to fix that is to fill the gap. So believe it or not, one of the best ways is with a hose clamp, a stainless steel clamp. If you can get it to wedge right in between, just like this, it doesn't interfere with anything and it'll take up that little bit of gap that's in there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a wrench, it should be a quarter inch, and then you're just going to tighten it in. If you can't turn the wrench, a screwdriver might be easier. Let's put the cover back on and do the other side. Make sure the cable notch is in its place before you put the cover on. This looks good. While you have it open, you can use this opportunity to regrease any of the mechanisms that are in here. Let's go ahead and just do the other side real quick. Okay, let's put these back together and close her up. Don't forget about the nut and the bolt towards the bottom here. You can use your finger and just hold it in place and then screw it from the other side. You've probably gotten confused which is the front, which is the back. Don't worry, I got you covered. These are the tension screws that were always facing the back of the boat. If you find that you're having a hard time getting it in, you can try pushing this, again, just like we had gotten out and try giving this just a little push. If it's not dropping into the hole here, your cables might be binding up. You're gonna go underneath your helm and you're gonna look at the control cables here and you're gonna give them a tug back and forth a little bit. That'll free them up from binding against the sides. And now the whole assembly should just drop straight into that hole. Put the four screws in to secure this down. 
Now we replace the cover. Put the two short Phillips screws back in to hold the cover in place. In case you didn't realize the cover does have a direction, it's labeled on the back. Well, that was the easiest thing I've done on this boat so far. If you liked it, give a thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave a comment down below if there's anything else you guys wanna see, and I'll see you all in the water.